Sarah, episode five for real episode. I have no idea what the question is at this point. So I, f- I can feel my palms getting a bit sweaty because I don't know what you're going to pick. And I hope you haven't pre-thought of your answer here. Uh, uh, I have not, but I'm, I'm coming at you hot. This is a serious <laughs> question. All right. It deserves some it. sweaty palms. Are you ready? ready? Tina Muir, have you ever broken the law? Oh. <laughs> I mean, what does that mean? Have I rolled a stop sign? Yeah. I mean, anything. Literally running the Isn't gamut from ever? jaywalking to murder. Oh, jaywalking. I mean, you know this for me. Like, jaywalking in England isn't a thing. So I kind of find it comical that it is something over here. Um, mm-hmm. And so I've done that, I mean, thousands. Wait, there, so there are literally no laws at all? Like you can d- just dash in front of cars willy-nilly? Oh, and people do. In England, Americans get really stressed when they're driving with me or there in general. One, because the cars get really close to each other. Like wing mirrors are like almost touching. Two, because cars passing you drive very close to you. Like I could stick out my mm. arm and hit each car that passes me. Um, and three, <laughs> because people walk across anywhere. So, you know, sometimes you might be like crossing a road and the car slows down. Um, you know, you're, you're crossing a road yeah, and running yeah. and the car slows and you kind of like, keep going, just, just go, just get out of my way. Um, well, in England, cars do not slow down. They're just going to keep going. And so you might have a car like speeding by you as you're crossing a road and you just let it go and then you walk across. So it's a bit of a like frogger thing. But yeah, so for me, oh, the concept of jaywalking is like hilarious because I just, uh, I mean, I kind of get I would, it. I would just love to see the stats though of like, okay, do more pedestrians mm. get nailed in England then because I would there honestly aren't think probably well. not. I would say more people get hit here, but also yeah. texting while driving or having your phone in your hand is like a, uh, you get points on your license. Like it's a really big offense oh, so so have you had anything like, like that here like any law breakage in the car like have you been you, i'm sure you've been pulled over right i've actually only touch wood although i recognize i am a white woman and that kind of gives me a uh, massive advantage if you want to call it that but um i've actually only been pulled over once and that was for rolling a stop sign so oh, i guess that's technically was it, was it rightfully rightfully so because oh, like was yeah. it like no cop no stop you okay yeah it was like uh, yeah <laughs> definitely warranted <laughs> in that moment um but yeah no that's the only time i've been pulled over but yes i'm sure i've made plenty of offenses around that i'm trying to think of anything that's like more than that i don't think so i'm a bit of a rule follower in that regard um, there may be you? things that you, well, I was, th- and I'm sure you've done this one as well. I feel like as a runner, like I have trespassed a lot. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like I've lived the last 20 years in like complete disregard for private property laws. Well, like, doesn't there's been that time- make you nervous of like, oh yeah, hunted? for sure. But there's time, or, like shot. there's times that I feel like I have like no choice. Like there was this time I was lost in college. Like there was this mountain called Galbraith that had these just like zigzagging trails. And I would get myself so lost up there that like I would hike down through brambles and end up in somebody's backyard and be like, well, there's a road on the other side of this. Um, mm-hmm. But I actually, I can think of a pretty, and it's funny because we were talking about Europe. Uh, I definitely broke the law in Europe, but I did not mean to. Please let me elaborate. <laughs> Um, when I, a few years ago, I think it was like 2018, I, we, I went to Madrid to run mm-hmm. a race. And so after the race, um, my husband and I were there and we're like, let's just stay for like two weeks and explore Europe. So we rented a little car. And the thing is in Madrid, like my Spanish is it's, it's decent. It's not great. It's not good mm-hmm. enough to really like read every sign and know what's going on. So we're driving around the city looking for a place to park. And of course, like with all European cities, it is impossible <laughs> to find a place to park. But I finally, I see this like it, smack in the middle of the city, wide open, perfect parking spot. And I was like, take it. So we like pull in the car, parallel park, great. And we leave the car there for like three hours. So we came back to the car and at first we're like, what's going on? There's like police cars everywhere and everything. And they were all surrounding our rental car. And there was a guy who was like furiously gesturing in Spanish. And we're like, oh no. So we were blocking like a service entrance to like, I think it was like a restaurant or something. But of course we didn't read the signs. So he's like, there they are. Like we're trying to get into the car. So the the cops come up to us and they are speaking just 
rapid fire Spanish. Mm. And I'm just like, mas despacio, slow down. Um, and so I can't understand what they're saying, but they write us out this ticket. And the only thing I can make out on the ticket is where it says 300 euros. <laughs> so we're like, oh no, which, what is that, Tina? Like 400 bucks? It's I like have insane. No idea. I don't know. It's we a, don't lot, use it's a lot of money. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Um, so, so basically, so we take this ticket and we're like, okay, so where do we pay it? So we, he, he like explains to us like where there's like an address on there. So we follow, this took us like a day and a half. So we follow like this address to this like underground police station. And they're like, no, you can't pay that here. You have to go to the bank. And we're like, okay, it's the end of the day. All the banks are closed. We'll go in the morning. So in the morning, we try to go to the bank. And now I know this and you know this because in Europe, it's not like a federal holiday. They're literally called bank holidays because yes. holidays are closed. It was a bank holiday. And we're like, well, we have a hotel waiting for us in France. We're out of here. So at the end of that week, we went, did a full circle, France, Switzerland, back to Spain, to Barcelona. So we take the ticket all the way with us back to Barcelona. And yet, for some reason, like the middle of the day before our flight out of there, all banks happen to be closed from like 10 in the morning to four in the afternoon because these people take like a seven hour lunch in Spain. <laughs> So we can't pay our ticket. So we take the ticket back with us to America. And for like three weeks, we like continually called the number on the bottom of this ticket. It's Spanish. We finally press the right numbers, get through to someone who speaks broken English, and they can't figure it out. We can't figure it out. So eventually we just gave up. So long story short, I may or may not be wanted in Spain. I have no <laughs> idea. I guess I'll find out. Oh if my we God, come back. that's but amazing. We never paid it. We yeah. never paid it. And wow. so I owe like $400 to the, the police in, in Madrid. So my How apologies. How does that feel to confess that? pretty good it feels good to get it off my chest yeah. although frankly i forgot about it. i hadn't thought about it in maybe two years <laughs> right now. So i'll have funny. to remind michael of that um, yeah wow yeah, um yeah, well so. it'll be funny if you ever go to spain and like like you know you go through um, immigration and they look at your id <laughs> and they're like come with me and they like, have you ever you. had that happen because you've gone through I've customs here, a lot yeah yes, what, actually, what happened what did once... you have like fresh fruit no 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 it was it was just uh it was when my green card was like accepted mm. but not i hadn't didn't have the card so i had a temporary one uh yeah and i they did the like please follow me and you go across oh, to this gosh. room and it's so stressful like you sit it's kind of like a dmv office and you sit mm. there but they're really high up mm -hmm. it's like they're on like pedestals so like yeah. they look like they're all like eight feet tall and so they call you up and you go up there and it's like the like, supreme court <laughs> it really feels it's a horrible experience and thankfully they just looked i think i can't even remember they looked at they looked at something and then they let me go but that was so stressful yeah. sitting in there Ugh. i i had that happen once too um coming back from ireland and i don't know why it's like the the declarations form they give you i had an orange in my bag and i just was not like i was i was like 20 20 something years old and i just was like they're like do you have any fresh fruit and i was like yeah i got i've got an orange just if you have fresh fruit just don't say anything so i go through and they're like we noticed that you ticked off in this agriculture section and i was like yeah i've got an orange they're like can we see it and they just i just gave them my orange and, and left and that was, all was. my mum goes like when she does this form she literally details like everything every like candy bar every like yeah because, you know, when I, as you know, when I ask her to come here, I ask her to bring all these things and she literally declares mm. everything. I'm like, mom, you don't need to go to that extreme yeah. to be like yeah. Cadbury chocolate mini eggs, like Cadbury <laughs> chocolate cream eggs. Like you don't have to list it, but she like, is well, like, well, what also, if they... I don't because it's like, yeah, you know what, mom, if they pull you aside, they're not going to arrest you for having pick and mix. And you're <laughs> like, you're fine exactly this is a good question good thinking and uh i like this one so any last thoughts with your law breaking other than yeah no, you were wanted would, in spain i would yeah that's it um i would what if i go there and there's literally like wanted posters with yeah. the well david can tell us if he's listening to this oh um, yeah that's right you can tell us is the wanted posters of sarah Maybe, what Absolutely. if he's known all along and he's like, I know where this lady lives. <laughs> like works for the police undercover. He was yeah. there. Oh, yeah. man. No, uh, I, other than that, of course, as usual, we would definitely like to hear some answers on yes. people's, um, people's law breaking. Yes, please share uh, within the Superstars community on your social media. If you're enjoying these episodes, share them with friends and tell us what have you done. Although obviously be careful. Please don't tell us that you've done something really bad and then we're a part of your, uh, where it was the term? We're uh, uh, not accomplices. Accomplices, would that be the... Assassins. 
can't remember Wait, the word. What's the word? There's a word for it. And, like, and we're like we're that like, probably be it. I, I, I think accomplices means like you were there and you did it. I just feel like it's just that it's we're a, privy to knowledge word, we shouldn't have. Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, right. we'll think of it. Sarah, thank you so much for joining me and uh, we'll see you next time.